A fierce dragon rises in the east, with stealth, firepower, and deadly precision. The KXZ-10 isn't just a helicopter. It's China's answer to the legendary Apache, and it's changing the game of aerial warfare. In the world of attack helicopters, few names strike fear like the American AH-64 Apache. But in recent years, a new contender has emerged from the east, China's KXZ-10. Designed with one clear purpose, battlefield dominance. This helicopter is more than just a show of military might. It's a bold signal that China is no longer just a military observer. It's a technological innovator. The Z-10 is the first attack helicopter designed and built entirely in China. Developed by the China Aviation Industry Corporation, CAC, the Z-10 has been in development since the late 1990s, although the program remained shrouded in secrecy for much of its early life. Initial design input came from Russian company Kamov, but the final shape and capability bear the hallmark of Chinese defense evolution. Its aggressive stance, narrow fuselage, and tandem seating configuration give it a sleek but deadly appearance. With a maximum takeoff weight of around 8 tons, the Z-10 is smaller and lighter than the Apache, but this translates into greater agility, especially in high-altitude regions like Tibet or potential combat zones along rugged borders. Powered by twin WZ-9 turboshaft engines, the Z-10 can reach speeds of over 270 km per hour and offers a combat range of approximately 800 km. While the Apache may edge ahead in raw engine power, the Z-10 wins in efficiency and speed to strike mobility. In terms of weaponry, the Z-10 is armed to the teeth. Its primary firepower comes from a chin-mounted 23mm or 30mm cannon, depending on the configuration. But that's just the beginning. It can carry up to 16 anti-tank guided missiles, such as the HJ-10 which many experts consider the Chinese equivalent of the American Hellfire. The helicopter is also equipped with air-to-air -air missiles like TY-90 for engaging other helicopters and drones, as well as rocket pods for close support missions. But beyond weapons, what makes the Z-10 particularly lethal is its integrated avionics suite. The attack systems on board are networked for real-time data sharing. It includes a helmet-mounted targeting system, laser designators, thermal imaging sensors, and millimeter wave radar for all-weather targeting. In terms of battlefield integration, China has invested heavily in digital warfare, and the Z-10 is right at the center of that strategy. What about survivability? The Z-10 is equipped with composite armor plating, radar warning receivers, infrared suppression systems, and electronic countermeasures. It has a crash-resistant fuselage and self-sealing fuel tanks. In other words, this machine was built not just to attack, but to endure under fire. Now many ask, how does the Z-10 stack up against its rivals, especially the AH-64 Apache? On paper, the Apache is still the more heavily armed and battle-tested platform. It has decades of combat experience in multiple theaters, from the deserts of Iraq to the mountains of Afghanistan. The Z-10, by comparison, has not yet been tested in real combat. But that doesn't mean it isn't capable. In terms of cost efficiency, rapid production, and regional deployment, the Z-10 is already serving across multiple brigades in the People's Liberation Army Ground Force. Furthermore, China is actively exporting the Z-10 to allied nations. Pakistan has already tested the Z-10Mi, a modern export version with improved armor and climate resilience. Other countries in Africa and Southeast Asia have expressed interest, attracted by its relatively low cost and modern features. Critics often point out the Z-10's initial power plant limitations. Indeed, early models struggled with altitude performance. But recent versions, including those powered by new Chinese WZ-16 engines co-developed with Francis Safran, show major improvements in high-altitude maneuverability and power output. China's ambitions with the Z-10 go beyond military posturing. It represents a shift in how the country approaches indigenous defense development. For decades, China reverse-engineered Western or Russian systems. But with the Z-10, China has stepped into a new era, one of original platforms tailored to its own military doctrine. 
Unlike the Apache, which is designed to work alongside heavily armored divisions and advanced air support, the Z-10 is optimized for asymmetric warfare and fast deployments in complex terrains. This reflects China's strategic needs, particularly concerning Taiwan, the South China Sea, and land borders with India. At international air shows, the Z-10 has drawn attention not just for its sleek design, but also for its affordability and modern tech. While it may not yet rival the Apache in all areas, it certainly punches above its weight, and that's what makes it dangerous. So what's next for the Z-10? China is already testing advanced variants, some rumored to include AI-assisted targeting systems, improved stealth profiles, and upgraded composite materials to reduce radar cross-section. There's also talk of a navalized version for operations on amphibious assault ships, giving China a new edge in maritime combat. The Z-10 symbolizes a strategic pivot. It's not just a helicopter. It's a representation of China's push to dominate the next generation battlefield on land, in the air, and across contested regions. As tensions continue to simmer in the Indo-Pacific, platforms like the Z-10 could become central players in a much larger game. Whether or not it ever sees combat on a large scale, one thing is certain, the KX Z-10 is not just China's answer to the Apache. It's a declaration that the future of military aviation is being rewritten. For more deep dives into modern defense tech, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. This is NextGen World, where we decode the engines of power one machine at a time.